Hey everybody, this is Dee Dee with my favorite groomer and dot com. And uh this is Max Cotton. Cotton gosh. He's a Catan, excuse me. And he comes in every two weeks because um I insisted that we definitely come in every two weeks because the brushing is so hard on him. Um, and they want to leave this huge fluffy coat thing going on, okay? It's his character, but they also don't like his uh, face covered up, so we do trim that back. Um, today's a brush out only, and then uh, two weeks from now we'll do a full bath brush, ears, nails, full brush out. It's a very intense situation. Um, it's a lot of brushing with the right tools. I use a, a spray leave-in conditioner. It's called the Tough Stuff. I'm like, is it called the Tough Stuff? And um, it helps get through the coat, but when we do the bath brush, ears, nails portion of everything, which we're not doing today, it does come out like way awesome too with the, with the conditioner. So it's really the type of product to use. Uh, here at the salon I use Pet Silk, um, which I feel is kind of top of the line for me. Um, it's, it's, it's expensive and it just smells delicious. It's great, um, great end result and if you use the product conditioner and the shampoo it lasts so long, right? And I'm getting off track. So let's get back to um, our video with Max. And we are going to brush him out. Again, I don't like talking while I groom, so I'm going to cover my face. And I'm not going to, I'm actually going to have a, there's a lot of comments about the face mask. So I'll do a video just on the face mask so you guys can, I'll do a health video. That's kind of where I, I'm going to go with that one. So I'm going to uh, start brushing him. And you'll see just, when you're brushing a dog like this, you have to do, it's overwhelming for the groomer too. It's overwhelming for the dog. Um, you have to do everything in layers and sometimes, sometimes you're really busy or you're really behind and it's just a lot of work, right? To look at a dog like this and go, oh my gosh, I got to brush each hair. You need to brush each hair on this dog. You don't just brush like here. You have to brush each individual hair. You need to make sure each individual hair goes through your brush. So in order to do that, you really need to break up body parts so that it's not overwhelming to you. That's why I think uh, if you go to a salon, a human salon, they take a little scrunchy thing or a clip and pull back all half of your hair and do this part and then do that part and then do that part and fold this other part in. So it's kind of the same concept. It's just a lot more work because <laughs> you're doing the entire body of an animal. So here we go. I'm going to start off by doing his pads and that'll help clean up some of his feet for me. Hold on a second. 